Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to paint simple autumn leaves, seed pods, pumpkins, and mushrooms that you can use for your watercolor journal, thank you cards, or bullet journal designs. So let's get started. If this is your first visit, my name is Aura, and on my channel I teach drawing and painting tutorials. So if you want to learn more about making art, please consider subscribing to my channel. In my last tutorial, I demonstrated how to paint simple autumn flowers and berries, and I will link to that video in the description below this video. This first design is a simple oak leaf. I'm using gold ochre on dry paper and adding some sepia and burnt sienna while it's still wet. I'm leaving a gap in the center for the stem that runs through the leaf. All of the paints I'm using are Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith brand, and I included all of the supplies I used in the video description. The brush I'm using is a black velvet round size 8 brush, which is my new favorite, and the paper is Fabriano Artistico Hot Press 140 pound. The next design is a couple of acorns. I'm starting with the bottom of the acorn and will add the tops later after these have dried. I'm just painting a half egg shape that's flat on the top. I mixed burnt sienna with gold ochre for a light brown color. Then I'm adding some sepia to the right and top for some shadow and dimension. Then a little burnt sienna to boost the color a bit. I'm just touching the tip of the brush to the wet paper here. I will let those dry and move on to design number three, some super simple seed pods. I'm using a pretty mauve plum color called Permanent Magenta, which I really like alongside the warm russet fall colors. Just a simple curved line for the stems, then a little circle with a point at the top. I'm leaving a small highlight and filling in the rest. Then using the very tip of my brush, I'm making these small little strokes from the top. Use a detail brush if you need to for this, if you don't have a fine tipped watercolor brush like this black velvet. On the other seed pod, I'm starting with burnt sienna mixed with a small amount of permanent magenta. I paint this one the same way and make sure both pods have a bit of both colors to unify them. Next is the pumpkins. I'm painting the stems first using sepia. Then for the front pumpkin, I'm using a watery mix of alizarin crimson to make a pink Cinderella pumpkin. The key is to make this look round, but painting the shapes distinctly from another, but also letting them mix here and there so it doesn't look too much like a stencil. To make it look round, I add small sections behind the stem, as you can see here. Then I drop in some permanent magenta on the bottom for a shadow. For the second pumpkin, I mix a little gold ochre with alizarin and burnt sienna for an earthy orange and paint it section by section the same way, letting the sections touch here and there for a loose and easy effect. I let it blend slightly with the pink pumpkin as well, which is still wet. I will come back and refine these shapes once this layer has dried. The next design is a really simple stem and leaves. I'm using perylene green to make the stem 
and adding these ovals at the ends of the offshoots. Then I'm filling in one side and leaving the other white, or you can add another color later after this layer has dried. Then I'm adding some burnt sienna to mix in with the green. The next design is just a very simple branch and I apologize that my hand is blocking a lot of this, but I'm using the tip of the brush to make squiggly, imperfect lines for the branch and stems. And I'm using sepia to do this. I will let this dry before finishing it, and I will move on. For this next seed pod, I start with the stem. I'm just using a brown mixed from burnt sienna and other leftovers that are on my palette. Just making simple curved lines, then making teardrop shapes at the ends with gold ochre and alizarin crimson at the tips. And I will finish this one later once dry as well. Next is the mushrooms. I mix a gray putty color from permanent magenta, sepia, and burnt sienna to paint these first two mushroom shapes. Then I add more burnt sienna to warm up the color. For the one in the middle, I use some gold ochre in the mix. To paint the top, I mix alizarin with burnt sienna. I'm painting little circles to leave whole white spots and filling in around them. Then I will let these dry and we'll do some final touches on the pumpkins. I mixed burnt sienna with a little sepia to make a shadow color for the orange pumpkin, which I am painting just behind the pink, pink pumpkin to give it a cast shadow. I'm rinsing my brush and using just a clean damp brush to blend out the hard edge. I do the same process on the other pumpkin using permanent magenta on the bottom to deepen the shadow. Then I use sepia to draw in these cute little curvy lines from the base of the stems. Now to finish the acorns, I'm using sepia and burnt sienna to make the tops. To darken and add texture to the shadow side of the now dry parts, I dab on some sepia.
also adding some dark shadow areas to the seed pods to make them look more round and dimensional. For the yellow seed pods, I'm using burnt sienna to make little vertical stripes. Again, you may need to use a small detail brush for this part. Now back to the branch, I'm adding permanent magenta to the tips in little oval shapes to look like maybe leaves, seed pods, or pussy willows. Super simple, and you can of course make these any color and they will look good. To finish the mushrooms, I'm adding sepia to the bottom and behind the stem, as you can see here, to give it a look from below effect. For the red capped mushroom, I'm using a light gray mix to paint the gills, and then I deepen that mix because that first one was just a little too light, and I also add a shadow to the bottom of the cap and top of the stem. Now the main designs are done, but I want to add some filler in between just to fill up some of that white space and unify the color theme. First I'm painting some leaves in different shades, including burnt sienna, perylene green, and watery permanent magenta. and also some little berries with stems. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your watercolor journal or bullet journal. You can leave a comment and let me know how you'd like to use some of these designs. You can also click up here in the top right corner to see my part one of Autumn Flowers, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and I will link to it in the description as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more art tutorials. You can also click your notification bell to find out whenever a new tutorial is published and you can share this video on social media for your watercolor enthusiast friends. Happy painting and I hope you join me for my next tutorial. Bye!